Hello Scorpios, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for August 2019. Keep in mind this is a general reading. Also, if you're a cusper, check out my cusp reading that I put out for August. If you like it, then that'll show me that enough people are interested that I will certainly try to continue it, okay? Because it takes a while to do. Uh, otherwise, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if it resonates, consider personal reading. Rates, info, and email are below. I don't know if I said that before. I apologize if I did. Otherwise, let's get started. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please divide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Scorpios for the middle of August 2019? What do you see? What do they need to know to help Scorpios reach their higher ground, become closer to the universe, and closer to the divine? Scorpios, August 2019. I just realized these aren't the cards that I've been using, so in the description it's going to say the Archean um, tarot deck. But this is a rider weight, so <laughs> I'm planning on using it, but there must be a reason for it that I grabbed it. So Holy Spirit Angels, what do you see general energies for Scorpio? Middle of August, the Seven of Cups in the upright. Alrighty. Keep in mind my 2019 Sun Moon readings are my playlists or my compatibility readings. Go check those out. Challenge position, you have the Sun card in the upright. Why are these like readings a lot of uh, gloom and doom um well i'm not even done yet so let's see advice for scorpios middle of august then i'm on social media i'm on facebook and i'm on insta where i upload my weeklies and my weekend readings i'm on the instant go app if you need a quick answer to a quick question it's four dollars and 98 cents and i turn it in 24 hours Okay, advice, we have the Ace of Swords in the upright and moving out of um, the middle of August, moving forward from this reading, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. I thought there was something else I had to mention, but I guess not. You guys are like, thank God, she said enough already. Um, okay, Seven of Cups, we're starting off with lots and lots of options. What should I pick? What should I pick? Kidney Candy Store. Um, all of these things available it could be job options, could be suitors, could be properties. Um, it could be anything because it's a general reading. So you're looking at all of these things kind of mouth agape. But the thing that comes along with the Seven of Cups is very important. The cautionary tale that goes along with it you really need to look into what is in each of those cups. Um, you know, it's a, there's like a dragon and dragony lizard in one of them and a um, asp. Yeah, that's a type of snake. Remember, that's the one that bit Cleopatra. Um, you know, and then somebody's under a, a, a napkin here. So, I really need to look into all these options. You need to do your research. You need to make sure you know what you're getting into. Everything seems very appetizing at a glance. But once you kind of get in the nitty gritty, you're going to be able to, you know, determine which of those options you should actually go for. Um challenge position we have the sun card in the upright which has associations with leo since this is in the challenge position this says that some of you are having difficulties um going on vacation to someplace warm and sunny <laughs> that's for a small percentage of you getting away getting that vacation that you want to go on um this is the options you might be looking in over here like where do i want to go on vacation what can i afford um and, and looking into what might be, because the sun card is going to someplace warm and sunny. And maybe that's what you're trying to look into and, you know, you're finding out that maybe these destinations aren't the safest place to go to. <laughs> you know, you know, it's been in the news lately, right? But for a majority of you, the sun card, the challenge for you is being optimistic, being happy. Um, you know, ha having, having nothing to hide, um, being open being warm mostly to me it's just that you you guys are having a, pro, a a difficulty keeping your chin up looking on the bright side go figure like it's the sun and that's a challenge for you so in the advice pos position we have the ace of swords in the upright and what they're telling you is you know kind of kind of get it together and figure out what direction you want to go in um you kind of need that mental clarity and you need to, to choose the path you need to step back, kind of look at something and carve a path for yourself and move forward in a new direction. Triumph over your past. Be victorious over your past. Cut out your past. 
the ace of swords is usually going forward with confidence in a new direction and not kind of letting your past hold you hold you down winning out over um, something in your past and just cutting it out of your life and I think you might be listening to this advice because I see the ten of swords are reversed here and the ten of swords is coming out of a situation that's very traumatic um, healing from something that was traumatic healing from a betrayal um, this guy has like ten swords in his back um, so I do feel you going on to heal or um, you know turning things around whatever you've kind of been through why is this seven of cups here who is this person was this energy additional messages for Scorpio who is this person what is this energy why is this seven of cups in for Scorpio middle of August who is this person what is this energy Page of Cups are reversed. Okay, so be careful because in one of these cups is sitting somebody who is really emotionally immature. They're a brat. They're moody. When it comes to emotions, they don't. They're not very healthy when it comes to emotions. Um, they don't know how to handle themselves. They want things their way. If they don't get it their way, then they throw a tantrum. There's somebody who likes to play, play, play. Doesn't like to work, work, work. Um, likes to have a good time all the time. This person might also um, like to drink a lot, like to party a lot, may have addictions of some sort. Um, with the world card in the upright and we have the five of wands, which leads me to believe that they're telling you you need to kind of wrap it up with this person. And they're telling you you've kind of gotten everything that you, all, all the lessons that you need to learn from this person is kind of it's time to kind of move on from them. This could be somebody who is a friend. I mean, this person could be anybody in your perimeter, anybody in your space. And they're telling you it's time to move on. It's time to look at other options because there's other people out there. We have the five of wands here and the five of wands, um, you know, a lot of people say it's conflict, but in this situation, it's rival, you know, rivalry or competition with other people, sport, you know, um, it's almost calling to you, hey, leave this loser behind. You know, you've, you've gotten everything that you can out of that experience. There's a lot of options out here kind of waiting for you. A lot of friendships or colleagues or what have you. And it's time to throw yourself in there and kind of like, you know, mix it up with these people. And find out what's out there and, and what these people have to offer you. That page of cups in reverse has nothing to offer you. You need to kind of wrap it up with that person. Um... Why is the sun card here in the upright for Scorpios in the challenge position? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the sun card in the upright for Scorpios. Who is this person? What is this energy? Hmm. Okay. So. Alrighty. I feel like you're having difficulty, um, finding positivity, being optimistic, because I feel like there was somebody that um, presented themselves to you as this King of Cups. So somebody who was almost perfect. Perfect in, in uh, you know, whatever regard. I mean, it could have been a boss, a friend, a colleague, a romantic partner. And then I feel like they, they presented themselves to you as this perfect person. Somebody... I mean, the King of Cups has many admirable qualities to him. Uh, emotional maturity being his his most uh, known asset. Um, he doesn't kind of get in his feelings. He can be empathetic. He can be a good mediator. Um, an ideal father. An ideal mate. Um, but I see this Seven of Swords here, and I feel like this person did not turn out to be who you thought they were. You found out that they had things going on behind the scenes. Um, maybe they cheated. Maybe they had a hidden agenda. Maybe they were taking shortcuts of some sort. Maybe embezzlement came up. I don't know if that's relevant to anybody. So I almost feel like, like how they presented themselves to you was not who they actually were. It was kind of a face that they put out. And this affected, this affected the environment that you were in. It could have been your home. It could have been your office. Whatever that environment was, classroom, um, an organization, anything like that, all of a sudden you got really uncomfortable where you were because of what you found out regarding this person. I mean, here you thought this person was the stars and the moon, and then you're finding out that's not the case. 
and and now as you're kind of hanging out in wherever you are you just feel icky um it, it doesn't you know you, you almost dread like being in this environment you don't you don't feel I, I just icky is the feeling i'm getting very uncomfortable wishing you kind of weren't in this situation and having the knowledge that you you had um yet I don't think they're tied to this page of cups here. I'm not getting that. So you could be dealing with two different energies here. Why does it say the swords in the upright advice for Scorpios? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Ace of swords in the upright for Scorpios. Oh yeah, so they're telling you to move on completely. I'm getting that some of you need to relocate. Some of you need to move to another job. You need to pack up all your stuff and leave this environment that you're in that's um, not a very positive environment. You know, pack it up, go, don't look back. So now we have the Ten of, of Swords in reverse, which is what over here is over here telling you. And when you do so, you will be able to recover from um, whatever this mess is. Official message for the Ace of Swords. Official message. And you feel betrayed by this person too. Yeah, because things are gonna fall apart. So whether or not you are on board or not, things are gonna fall apart, apart regardless. I feel like um, this person, this duality and personality that they have, they're a catalyst for something. And um, whether you stay on board or not, things are gonna fall apart. So it's a matter of, are you gonna go down with this ship You know that this person caused? Or are you going to move away from it and not look back? Are you going to get the hell out of Dodge is what I'm feeling like. So that you can you can at least save your, your butt. But these two cards are very much about get out of there. Get out of this situation because things are going to fall apart. And it's not going to be pleasant. And I feel like that person is at the root of it. I'm still trying to figure out if it's the same energy that this Page of Cups is. Because it is telling you to, you guys are going to have to let me know. Because it is telling you to wrap it up with this person. And find other people. It's weird because I don't usually get that from the five of wands. To find other people, to seek out other people. But I feel like this is your tribe. Find another sport to play. That's what I feel like. This isn't the sport for you. And don't take it literally. You know what I mean. Why is this Ten of Swords here in reverse for Scorpios? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Ten of Swords in reverse for Scorpios. As they move forward. Out of the middle of August. Move forward from this reading. Yeah, you're going to... This has to kind of be a work situation of some sort. I'm feeling strongly this is a workplace situation. I mean... You can tell me in the comments, but now the Three of Pentacles is showing up. So it shows that you will move on. You will recover from this betrayal from this person who presented themselves to be something that they weren't and to cause all this trouble. And not only are you going to move on, you have this Three of Pentacles here where you're going to find your tribe, like I like to call it, um, people who are working on the same thing. And, you know, they're all contributing to it. And they're all proud of it. And they all, you know, they're getting worth out of it. Strength card in reversed. Uh, maybe you're not feeling that's a card of Leo. Some of you are dealing with the Leo with two cards here, implying Leo. Okay, so some of you though, I mean this is great. So you got out of this situation, you're in a new situation now. You're involved with these people, um, working on something. It could be putting on display, it could be some type, something good that's gonna go on stage, something that a lot of people are gonna see. It's a it's a cooperative effort that I feel like you're a part of, and it's very important. The Strength card in reverse tells me you're not as confident being a part of this machine as you should be. Um, and it might be because you don't have enough information about it, because I see the Two of Wands here, you know, you being tentative, kind of holding on to the stick, while this other stick's behind you, the safe stick, I call it, because it has a bracket below that I always kind of focus on. And you kind of pondering, you waiting, to kind of see how this pans out before you before you take a more um a bolder step forward okay i feel like you're a little bit a little bit shy a little bit just trying to integrate holding back a little bit 
trying to figure out what's going on here before you present yourself or before you fully contribute. I think for the most part, I mean, you, you are a part of this, but I don't feel like you're a main contributor. I feel like you're kind of like, you know, on the side a little bit, trying to understand things. You know how when you, when you start something new, um, you know, you get trained or you spend some time trying to figure out, okay, like what's the hierarchy here and who, what's the click and you know what I mean? Like, I must feel like you're kind of observing this and you're not quite ready to jump in on this yet. Um, but it, it, this is a new situation. So whatever you choose to move out of here, this is the new situation that you're moving into, I'm feeling like. And you're being very tentative. Um, okay. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider personal reading. Rates, info, and email below. Just send me an email. We can go ahead and set that up. Check out my playlist where you will find my compatibility readings. My 2019 Sun Moon readings are in there also. Check me out on social media, Facebook and Insta, where I upload my weeklies and my weekend readings. And, oh, Cusper reading. If you're a Cusper, check that out for August. And I'm on the Instant Go app if you need a quick answer to a quick question. Four dollars and 98 cents. And I'll turn around in 24 hours. Um, yeah, that's it. If you listened to all of that. Otherwise, I'll see you in September for your love readings. Adios, Scorpios. Bye.